Hi guys, today, I'll show you how easy it is to make 4k anime, let's go. Great, let's get started. Now there are a lot of different quality improvement programs, I'll show you which I'm sitting on. I mainly use Topaz Labs products, Gigapixel AI and Enhance AI, but lately, only Enhance. Since it processes much faster and the result is much better in some places than Gigapixel, I'll tell you about both, it's easy, haha. Ha. It's easy, okay, let's go. We take the video, throw it into the program. There are many different modes in the program. You can sit and play by yourself and find the best possible way to improve the video. But today I will tell you about my favorite Pro Choose 6 parameter using such settings. Here you can choose what resolution you want to get, 4K, 8K, 12K. The video format you want to get or a sequence of frames. And if the video, then how much it will compress it at the output, 16 is the most optimal. Click start processing and the work has started. It shows how long it will take us to render. While rendering, you can slowly enjoy how well it handles it. Sometimes there are artifacts, but often they are not visible, if you do not bring the frame much closer, so it is not critical. This is an example with a low resolution, now I'll show you, with a higher one. There are a lot of subtleties, if the tutorial comes in, I will tell you in more detail about all sorts of nuances and features. In a high image, it may sometimes seem to you, that nothing is happening, but it is not. If you zoom in, you will see how well it highlights, makes bolder lines and removes noise in the images. When the render is over, a video will appear next to the video that you have uploaded, or where you specify the path in the settings. Let's see what happened with us. Basically, you've seen how it works, so I won't show it for a long time. There are enough examples on my channel for you to see how well it works. Now, I'll tell you about Gigapixel in this program. You cannot upload a video. You need to first render the video into a sequence of frames. Next, we throw the image. It's better, as I show, because if you just drop them by dragging from the folder to the windows, it sometimes causes the program to crash. We throw in and wait until she uploads all the photos. At this time you can start setting up the render. Everything is easier here in principle. We choose art and CG. My settings are basically like this. From above, you can choose how much you want to enlarge the image. Click save image, select the path where it will be rendered and click save. Here it shows how much time is spent on the frame. We are waiting and watching the result. At the output you will get a sequence of frames. I think next, what to do with it, you know. A couple of examples of differences in programs, but again, everything is different in different examples. Everyone can test, experiment and choose an option that is already suitable for you. So, something like that. In fact, there are a lot of nuances still. How to make it even better, how to render many times faster. It's just that many people write to me with a request to tell me. I decided to share and show everyone at once. It seemed to work out. Ha ha ha. If this video gets a thousand likes, then there will be new tutorials. I will tell you in them how to do 60 plus FPS and how to slow down super slow. Thank you all for watching and good luck.